Swati Krupp and welcome to Thailand News Today. It's our Thailand News Today light version, a public holiday here in Thailand. And a shout out to Don Moisen or Don Moisen. Thank you very much for becoming a Tiger member, supporting the Tiger, helping us get from wherever we are at the moment to wherever we're going in the future. And you may hear the dull vibrations from a nearby gardener who's whipper snippering and has been doing so for the past two hours, but we couldn't delay the program anymore. So if you do hear a little bit of a hum in the background, it's a gardener doing his work and I hope he's being paid for it too. But in the meantime, let's get started with today's main news stories. Queen Sirikit, Thailand's Queen Mother, is 89 years old today. The former king and the beautiful Sirikit were married in 1950, shortly before His Majesty's coronation. Phuket police have charged 27-year-old Terawat Totip, the man accused of killing a Swiss tourist with attempted rape. The Commissioner of Provisional Police Region 8 claims there is enough evidence to substantiate an attempted rape charge. Last Saturday, Tirawat was arrested following the police's discovery of the 57-year-old woman's body two days before. Police say the autopsy will be finished sometime this week. Today, the Thai Public Health Department has announced 22,782 new infections. 875 of those stem from the Thai prison system, along with 147 new COVID-related deaths in the past 24 hours. 23,649 patients have been released from hospitals or field hospitals over the past 24 hours as well. 5,495 patients are listed in critical condition, 1,103 patients still requiring ventilation. Two new homegrown COVID vaccines that would be delivered via a nasal spray are going to start human trials by the end of this year. Officials say the vaccines already have promising results using mice. The nasal spray was developed by the National Centre for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology. The vaccines are based on the adenovirus and influenza. The ferry service running across the Gulf of Thailand between Hua Hin and Pattaya hasn't been operating since last year due to COVID-19, but it now appears it may never restart. Royal Passenger Line Company was operating as the sole operator of the route and the only ferry service utilising the Bali High Pier. Yesterday, the mayor of Pattaya City announced the ferry company had requested a cancellation of their contract with the port. A heavy tourism marketing drive will be launched overseas to spread the message of Phuket being safe following the murder of a Swiss woman and as the US placed Thailand on the list of countries with a COVID-19 alert. This from the Tourism Authority of Thailand. They stated that the murder case has no immediate impact on tourism bookings on the island. They said the message must be put out urgently with a heavy marketing campaign to be implemented. With Kratom being removed from the list of illegal narcotics in Thailand officially on August the 24th, the Office of Narcotics Control Board says charges will be dropped or cleared for over 8,000 people. About 1,000 people who had been convicted of use, sale or possession of the plant, traditionally used in herbal medicine, will have their convictions overturned and purged from their record. After being injured by rubber bullets, police fired at people clearly marked as members of the press. A journalist with Plus 7 and a photographer from the Matter have filed a lawsuit against the police. Now the civil court has responded, throwing out their petition to stop police from using rubber bullets as part of crowd control during protests. Raging currents and floods have swept away the roof of a shop in Suratani province due to heavy rainwater from Nua Klong waterfall flowing down the mountain yesterday. There was some flooding which affected houses in the Wiangsa district. And heavy rain has also caused minor flooding around the province after a damp few days in parts of southern Thailand. The military could be called in to help quell violence at rallies if the situation gets out of hand during the current spate of anti-government protests. 
The Metropolitan Police Bureau says police will stick to using tear gas and rubber bullets if needed. The threats to call in the Thai Army followed several weeks of sometimes violent protests. Yesterday, a mother and son were arrested in Bangkok after the son allegedly pretended to sell discounted AirPods online while using his mother's account for transferring funds. The unnamed 33-year-old posted on Facebook that he had Apple AirPods for sale at 5,500 baht a pop, a deal compared to the usual price of 8,900 baht. But the deal was he didn't send any AirPods to the paying customers. He collected over 100,000 baht before being arrested. The man reportedly fessed up to the Facebook sale, but claims it was a supply chain problem due to the COVID situation. It happens. The mother claims she was entirely ignorant of her entrepreneurial son's behaviour, but police begged to differ and have charged her with fraud as well. Well, that's our short abridged version of Thailand News Today. Hope we brought you up to date with some of the main stories. We've also got uh, this morning's Good Morning Thailand, which was a live version where we went live for, gee, I think it ended up about an hour. So you can check that out as well on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, really easy to do, and that helps us grow the channel as well. But from everybody at the Tiger, hope you enjoy the rest of today's public holiday in Thailand. Jet will be back with the program tomorrow, but from me, you're up to date on the Tiger.